Hi, I'm Dennis Gage. Thanks for tuning into My Classic Car, home of the Certified Car Nut. Well, this week we're at Thanksgiving Point in Lehigh, Utah for the UVSC Auto Expo and Swap Meet. This show benefits the Utah Valley State College, which has got a strong program in the automotive trades. <laughs> Let me tell you, there are some fabulous cars here, and this venue, it can't be beat. Let me take you on a little tour and show you what this event's got to offer. Ray, you know, you've been, uh, frankly, you've been bugging me for years about this show. I have, <laughs> You have been bugging me about it. <laughs> but I gotta tell you, this is just fantastic. It's a great show, but what a wonderful venue that you've got here. Thanksgiving Point is amazing. This is the most fantastic place oh, I've seen to do a car it's, show. It's amazing. And there's really some interesting stuff here. There is. I mean, <laughs> I mean, some stuff I haven't seen before. Yeah. And how's it, how's it been for UVSC? It's been great. We, we've actually grown scholarships every year for the last five years. We started out mainly, might, might have provided one for a few years, mm -hmm. up to a couple, and now we're up to the three, four full scholarships. I mean, that's taken them full, full scholarships through. And you put on a heck of a show, man. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> let's get around and let's check some of these babies out. Okay. What do you say? All let's right, let's it. go. Okay. Dave, man, this baby stopped me in my tracks. I got to tell you, I, you know, I'm walking by, I'm a oh, nice candy apple and everything. But I started looking at this car, and man, just every detail of this, it, this is absolutely a work of art. Well, thank you. She's a 37 Chev, right? That's right, that's right. Now, that's not a really pretty car. No, nope, no, nope, that was my biggest argument with the car, is it had a lot of lines that didn't flow, uh, a lot of separations in the cowl. Uh, the uh, stock 37 has a really bulky hood and a really kind of an awkward looking uh, front end. So what we did on this car is we actually stretched the front of the car out eight and a half inches total. Six inches between the fender and the door, uh -huh. another two and a half inches up front, and eight yeah. and a half inches overall in the wheelbase. When I went by and I saw the interior, I, that was just it for me. You've seen like, the jewel. Holy cow! I mean, that that is such an innovative dash. Um, I mean, it's fine art. Thank and it's, you. It, I mean, and did you have to, you have to create? Nobody does that, right? Nobody we, makes we that. We created it from ground up. What we did is we dehoused uh, autometer gauges. I had a friend of mine that does screen printing for membrane switches, and he actually screen printed with the separation, so all of the numbers are in candy apple red <sighs> light up from the back. Uh, it's a half inch piece of beveled glass. Yeah, the bevel is such a nice touch. So such a, it's, I mean, it's a jewel touch. And then you kept still, you know, very much a, a 30s touch back here on the taillights. Exactly. These are from uh, Jesse Greening from Greening Auto Company back east. And uh, Jesse sent these out. We had to modify them because normally they're a stanchion off of the back side of it. And we wanted it mounted much like yeah. the, the 37 was originally mounted up. And you've got this almost boxster esque. Uh, exhaust. Exactly. That, that is cool. Center exhaust. What power is this baby? This is a big block Chevy, 496 cubic inches with a Hillborn injection. Wow. Uh, the transmission is a 700R4 that's been built. Oh yeah. Oh that that injection system is. <laughs> oh, I swear this is one of the prettiest cars I've ever seen. Well, thank and you very much. What fabulous workmanship. Thank you. You, are, you do nice work. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Good job, Dave. Thank Beauty. you. Beauty. Wow. Welcome back to my classic car. So Mark, you know, I, I, I saw you come in, I saw oh, it's, it's a Hummer, it's, no, it's, it's, a, it's a Jeep, no, it, what is this thing? It's a Lamborghini. It is a Lambo, it, it really is a, is a Lambo. It is a Lambo, yes. Holy cow, what, okay, what year? 1989. And what's, what's it called? It's a, it's a, they dubbed them a LM002. I don't know why, but <laughs> well, who knows, <laughs> I don't know. And what were they made for? They were trying to do military things with it. Mm -hmm. uh, Muammar Gaddafi ended up with a hundred of them. Uh, at the end of that, they made a hundred of them special for the United States. They had chrome bumpers and oh, things course, like that. Right. But this so, is one of the originals. So the U.S. had the chrome bumpers. What did, what did Momar go for uh, as, as an option? What, what were his options? His biggest option was a machine gun in the back. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Yeah, well, <laughs> chrome bumpers, machine gun, you know, I, I guess. I mean, is it an armored vehicle? It is, it is. The doors have a big slab of aluminum in them. They are bulletproof doors. The glass isn't bulletproof, but the doors are. I mean, is it a steel body or? No, it's fiberglass body, it's actually. A, it's actually a fiberglass The whole body's body is fiberglass. And then, and then armored under the skin? Under the skin, yeah. And how about the chassis? It's a tubular chassis. Wow, what a wild <laughs> machine. And then, but it, it's a Lamborghini, and a luxury leather luxury interior. Luxury leather interior, and white it, leather. 
And is this, I mean, was this the, the original interior? Or the, your... No, this is the original interior with the wood grain, white leather, I, air conditioning. I can't believe this thing. It's, what does it weigh? Uh, close to two, three tons, almost 6,000 pounds. Oh, man. So I guess, I guess if you did have a machine gun up there, this yeah, is Jerry. you gotta have a place to sit. Wow, You're kind of a hike up there. Does this, <laughs> and does this swing out or how no, does that No, this, this opens up, let me show you. Oh man, that's really nice actually. And the whole thing, the whole, even the guard comes down in, and then just up and in, just right? Just up and in. Man, I, I like that. Now, close up, same way? So, yeah, so it's a little heavier going up. <laughs> it's a one-way door. Man. Maybe a fiberglass body, but there's something under that, let me tell you. Now, she's a Lambo. Does it have the Lambo engine? It does, a V12. Let's look at it. Uh, yeah, that's it, isn't it? It is. <laughs> it, it's a Lamborghini, I can't believe it. <laughs> so, I mean, those are like uh, 400 plus horsepower, right? Yeah, 444 horsepower. Well, man, what a wild machine. Definitely, definitely the only one here. Mark? Thank you. <laughs> Lambo, <laughs> LMO02. That's it. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah, you Thanks, can. man. You bet. Thank you. Welcome back to My Classic Car. Doug, this is a gorgeous car. This is a, it's a 48, 48, right? 48 Pontiac. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I don't know if I've ever seen a 48 Pontiac convertible. They're pretty rare, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they are, they are. Man, now it's a, it's a Silver Streak. Is right. that right? That's right. Pontiac called all their cars Silver Streak from the mid 30s through this era because of the oh, silver because of chrome. The silver Streak, right? Streak, yeah. Now, did you? I mean, did you buy it restored or? Oh no, I bought it as a basket case and really? I, I restored it. Wow. Now, I mean, like when you say basket case, rusted and oh just, yeah, just a mess. It was just a mess. The front fender was wrecked and the, uh, somebody had hit it in the back with an axe and, and uh, just above the deck lid. And, oh man. Yeah. And 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 so you, I mean, you did all that. I mean, do you restore cars? Or? Uh, well, that's my first one. I never. Really? I'm doing more now, but I took it on. Yeah. <laughs> so this, I mean, this was like a, a in your garage or your... yeah, just at, in, at home in my garage. Wow. Yeah. Well, I respect that, man. Thank you. <laughs> you do nice work. <laughs> yeah, and she looks. I mean, she looks straight as an arrow. Now, is the top tan, kind of same color? Just colors same as colors as oh, this must be gorgeous. It is, it really oh. is. And I, I love the gauging and everything. And, and are those the original heater controls and defrost? And they all are, uh-huh. Down there, wow. Now, this early plastic didn't hang around very well. These steering wheels are usually gone. Yeah, it was gone, and I had a friend of mine recast that when he did a beautiful job. I mean, there's a lot of chrome on this car. You had to have redone it. Yeah, all of it, yeah. It's all oh. been done, including those bezels, which were highly pitted, and I had to send them back east and have them redone and they did a gorgeous job oh, with them. But cha-ching. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I'd say. Well, what powers the Silver Streak? It's a straight eight uh, flathead. Oh, let's have a look at it. Okay. Oh yeah, so oil bath air cleaner, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And that's your oil filter I up got there? an oil filter, that was an accessory. Pontiac claimed you didn't need an oil filter. They had what they called an oil cleaner in the in the oil pan that actually would take the, the sediments and kind of spin them off into this oh, container. Kind of, kind of a, a but, separator, yeah, almost. A separator, but but, but you could you could, you could get this accessory as a, right. So it actually didn't come with a filter. Mm -mm. Well, that's interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, and I see you've got uh, you got the chief there. Oh yeah, you bet. Now does that go ahead and close her up? Does okay. that does that light up? No, that's not one that does. A little later they had those in the early 50s. That Still lighted. really just an absolutely beautiful car. And are you getting some attention with this Oh, one? yeah, I yeah. should say. Well, it caught my eye. <laughs> <laughs> hey, ab you. absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Silver Street. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Doug. Well, <clears throat> Ron, <laughs> there's a lot of cars here, but I got to tell you, this is, a, this, is a, this is a completely insane car. This is a cartoon car if I ever saw one. Yeah. I mean, is this... Where did this come from? A, like a, a wild dream or something like that? Well, I've always sketched... Uh, cartoons, uh, just sketch that I appreciate, pencil sketch, and I've always entertained the idea of building a car that was a cartoon car. Well, uh, I would do this one. Yeah, <laughs> so I thought, well, you know, you ain't getting any younger, let's do it. <laughs> yeah, the proportions are so extreme, and, and you've got insanely big tires that you can't possibly get those off. Well, we, yeah, this is a feature that we had to create so that we could. Oh, no. That's a way to go about it. Yeah. Change a tire, fill it with gas. Fill it with gas. <laughs> wow. And so, and you've made all the forms and, and the mechanicals and stuff. And yeah. I, I, the exhaust tips are insane too. Yeah, that kind of goes with the theme. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. Kind of <laughs> crazy, wild. And she goes down by power too. Mm hmm Yeah, we covered everything. Oh man, that is that is just that is just too cool. That is just <laughs> too cool. Now, an interior, you've kind of kept that same theme, that same beach surf thing going there too, right? Yeah, we did. What's well, uh, oh. <laughs> up? 
Can you do that on the other side? Oh, man. There we go. <laughs> oh, man. I love this. I just love it. So, uh, what are the seats? Well, yeah. uh, you know, the, the theme was the beach theme. So, yeah. I made uh, look like beach chairs. Yeah. And then I got the beach ball as a safety airbag. <laughs> and in the back there, there's a feature that I haven't told you about. And that is, I can air up a bicycle tube that's tightens up around the surfboard. Oh, so it grips it. Grips the surfboard oh, and fills the, the void. You have absolutely thought of everything. You are <laughs> kind of no, nuts. I, you're kind of nuts. It's kind of kind of the theme. Now, I would imagine this doesn't just open up. Oh, no, no. Like, just, you we know, got to do something crazy. Got to do something crazy. And that would, be a, that would be a logical crazy thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, how cool. Yeah, it's got a... Nice little 302, a little hot rod motor. I like that. I, I love the intake there. Now that's kind of exotic and uh, it kind of goes with the car. Yeah, yeah. Man, and she goes back down by power too. Yeah, right? she does. Of course, of course. <laughs> How long did it take you to build this baby? Well, I've got uh, a total of 17 months in it. That's but, it? Well, that's, I'm retired. <laughs> what, what else do I have to do? <laughs> right, yeah, and I have, I'm obsessed and, you know, yeah, yeah. I have this extreme passion. And, <laughs> Well, I got to tell you, I mean, you're a, you're an artist, you're a, you're a craftsman, and you're you're obviously sort of a loon. Yeah, and sorry. I respect that. And what a stash! I love it. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome back to my classic car. Well, Jeff, this is a fabulous car, and I got I got a soft spot in my heart for Falcons. My wife's got a, a '63 uh, Futura convertible uh -huh. herself, but you know, it doesn't look anything like this one. You know? No, I mean. It this one didn't look like this either three years ago. <laughs> well, you know, it, not only is it uh, a Falcon, which is cool, but it's a Falcon wagon and a Squire wagon at that. Right, right? Yeah. Very rare car. Yeah. Wow. There was a few made. I looked it up and it was 2,000 something. But, but not many, eh? But not many Squires and how many are crushed and how many are still running well, around. Jeff, you know, I almost, I almost hate to admit it, but I, I drove a, a, a 72 Maverick in uh, uh, late years of college. Um, that, that had a color that was really close to it. Is it that Maverick color? No, it's not. Um, I remember that Maverick color. It was a little darker than this, uh -huh. not quite as uh, pearly. Yeah, right. Um, but this is a custom mix that I spent a lot of time spraying a lot of tabs. Um, we worked it down to six large realtor signs. <laughs> and finally, at looking at every angle and deciding, I said, that's it. So it's that's it green. <laughs> so you, you named it. It's yep. that's it green. Yep, I'm done. That well, was what it's, I wanted. You know, it's wild. Now, the wood is, is uh, that's what is it, airbrushed? Or? Well, it's airbrushed. Um, the actual, they're all factory moldings. Yeah. Yeah. And the original at Wood was stickers. You had a sticker on this molding, a sticker on the car. Oh, okay. Um, no gloss. Man, that is some interior. Yeah, it's it's a great job. Oh, Justin gosh, Stevens. It's gorgeous. Um, from Salt Lake Janus Upholstery did now, the upholstery. Now, what is that kind of like a le leather weave, like well, a leather it is, belt yeah. weave or yeah, something? Yeah, it's a, it's a leather basket weave. And, and you kept the, the curved glass back yeah, the here? The actual you know? shape of the body on the outside hasn't changed. Man, and, and now you cut uh, your exhaust through the bumper. Yeah, the bumper's a lot of work in that bumper. I bet. Um, these ends have been added because there was an open end. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's been shortened three quarters of an inch. It's been cut with the uh, tailpipes and the bumpers, have, the, all the bolts have been welded in. Holy cow. Now, did I hear you say something about a Jack Roush motor? Yeah, it's got a Jack, Jack Roush, Roush motor. motor. Well, let's go look at that Jack Roush motor. Holy it's, mackerel. Uh, 527 horsepower, 550 foot-pounds of torque. Man, what's the, that's, a, that's an injection system, yeah, right? Yeah, it's all fuel injected. It looks like Weber carbs, it does? but it's fuel injected. It is one mean green machine. Thank and you. And what was it? That was it? That's, it, that's green? it green? That's it green. That's it green. Yep, Jeff, that's it. Jeff, fabulous Falcon. Thanks, appreciate wow. it. Oh man, we had a blast here at the UVSC Auto Expo in Lehigh, Utah. This is a fabulous event and I love being out here in God's country. I highly recommend you put this one on your car show to-do list.